Hello everyone, guess what? Amazon Prime Day sale is going on well. Finding a lot of great deals on these items. I'm thinking about buying something and getting it shipped overseas here or somehow get it to me because these memory card sales are ridiculous. If you guys are looking for CF Express Type E cards, you should be looking at some of those deals that are out there. There's some new things that's coming out in the next storage, Exasend, Lexar. I can't really speak to Lexar, but I'm not gonna knock it. You know, if you don't show the video for a long period of time, you're probably not gonna have any overheating issues, but if you want it for photo shooting, fantastic cards. So check out all the memory cards that are on sale. There are also um, external SSDs that are on sale. Let me say this, if you are a Prime member, you're not a Prime member, get signed up because you can get some really good deals. I've not seen deals like this in a while, you know, for camera stuff. And I'll say this, I haven't been doing camera stuff for a long time. I haven't been buying more gear for it. But now, man, these new memory cards, you know, the one that I was looking at was uh, 800 bucks. And now it's like 600 bucks, 200 bucks off 20%. That's not bad. That's a great deal. So there are other things that are out there. I've seen stuff up to like 43% off. So if you're still in the market, you're still shopping. Today is the last day. Of course, after today ends, you're going to have some opportunities to get some stuff because things always come up for sale on Amazon from time to time. So keep looking and see what you can find. Another piece of news, Nikon finally released firmware updates for the Z6 and Z7 cameras. Yep, we got firmware after God knows how long we'll be waiting for some kind of firmware update in these cameras. Well, the sad news is, it's not the kind of firmware updates that we were looking for. There are a few new features that were added to the menu system, but nothing like tweaking the autofocus or making the IBIS any better, nothing along those lines. So it's a 1.60 for the new versions. I forgot what it is for the uh, older version. I think it's 3.0 or something. I forget the version number, but I was more focused on the newer cameras to see if we're gonna get a 2.0 update. And I was bummed. When I saw the message that, you know, there's a firmware update available, I'm like, oh, finally. Yeah, so it's a bit of a disappoint it's a bit of a disappointment for me and probably for you guys as well because we've been hoping that when the Z8 get released, we'd see a massive update to kind of tide us through until the Z6373 comes out. With that being said, my thought process now is are we gonna see these things sooner rather than later? Now the rumor mill is saying that we probably won't see this camera until 2024. Who knows for sure? You know, I did a video talked about well, what kind of camera we could expect from Nikon. There's a mystery camera that's supposed to be coming out. I did a video on that one. There's something else I'm working on that'll be coming out in the next couple of days because I started thinking more and as I've been looking through the patent areas, you know me, I'm always browsing those things. May not come to fruition right away, but some of the things that I'd like to see based upon now having the Z8, having the FX30, and what I think Nikon could do for a cinema camera. I have some ideas. I'm putting that together for the video for you guys to check out. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, this video is not gonna be long. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on that and ask also, as you're shopping on Amazon, use my links. I'm now an affiliate. I mentioned that in my last video. I really appreciate it if you guys would use my link and order something. A new camera, new lens, memory card, whatever you get. Something for home, something for the wife, something for the kid, something for the dog, whatever. Every little thing helps out. You know, I'm just starting out, so any kind of sale is going to help out. Anyhow, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I'm kind of in a situation now where I can record video on a regular basis. I was moving around a lot, so you should probably see some more video coming from me in the future. I'm trying to record as many things as I can before I have to give up this space and move on again. So yeah, some things will probably be in the queue waiting to come out, but um, you'll see those. The other ones that I'm working on, they're going to be coming out soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for always sticking with the channel and watching my videos. I appreciate it a lot. And for all you who are commenting and subscribed and giving a thumbs up, thank you. Much appreciated. A lot of you guys helped the channel to get over the 1,000 subscriber mark, and I'm really appreciative of that. So now I'm working hard to try to get the channel to grow and get bigger 
and so I can give you guys more information. Hopefully, I'll settle down someplace and start getting some equipment in to review. I have a few reviews that I also want to do on some equipment that I've bought, so look forward to that as well. Anyhow, taking off. See you guys. Take care.